Hello children, I welcome you all to class 4, Social Studies, Chapter 4, The Southern Plateaus, Part 2. In the first part, you have learnt about the Southern Plateaus. It's a triangular shaped plateau that covers a large part of the country. And it lies between three mountain ranges, the Eastern Ghats, the Western Ghats and the Satpura and Vindhya mountain ranges on the north. The main rivers in this region are Godavari, Tungabhadra, Krishna and Kaveri. And the southern plateau extends over eight southern states of India namely Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Odisha, Maharashtra, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. And I have explained detail about Andhra Pradesh, its geography, occupation, dress, festivals, tourist places. Isn't? I think it's clear now. Here you will learn about Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh, its geography, occupation, culture, dress, festivals and tourist places. Let's start with Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh is one of the 28 states of India located in the center east of the country. It is a heavily forested state in central India known for its temples and waterfalls. Let's see its geography. Chhattisgarh was carved out of Madhya Pradesh on November 1, 2000. The state is bordered by Maharashtra on the west, Madhya Pradesh on the northeast, Andhra Pradesh on the south, Odisha on the east, Jharkhand on the northeast and Uttar Pradesh on the north. It's ca capital is Raipur. So children, before it was in Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh was separated from Madhya Pradesh on November 1st, 2000. Earlier it was part of the Madhya Pradesh only. On November 1st, 2000, it got separated from Madhya Pradesh and it became a state. It is one of the 28 states. You know, in India, we have 28 states now. And its borders are Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, Jharkhand and Uttar Pradesh. Its capital city is Raipur. Is it clear now? Let's see its occupation. Children, in India, agriculture is the main occupation. So, agriculture is the main occupation of Chhattisgarh also. There are good irrigation systems with dams and canals over the rivers. Major crops grown are paddy, wheat, groundnuts, maize and pulses. The state is also rich in mineral resources like iron ore, bauxite, coal and limestone. These are all minerals which we find in inside the earth. When we dig the earth, we get all these minerals. Its Digging of earth is called as mining. This is a, also a major occupation of the people living in Chhattisgarh. Some of the major industries are iron and steel plant in Bilai and National Thermal Power Corporation, NTPC. So children, as you know, minerals are found more here. So only you find major industries. Iron and steel plant in Bilai is one of the very famous and very big steel plant in India. So minerals you find more. Iron is found here. It's in the raw form. So that we use for our uh, windows, rods and all. Iron. And steel plant where steel is manufactured which are used for our daily utensils. You know utensils are made up of steel. So there we use steel. So this is manufactured in Bilai. National thermal power means where this electricity energy is generated. Culture. Culture. Here, majority of the population are from rural areas. Chhattisgarhi is the main language spoken by the people. 
द अदर मे मेजर लैंग्वेजस् आफ दिस रीजन आर् हिंदी संबलपुरी मराठी एंड ओडिया द स्टेट ईज फेमस फॉर कोसा सिल रउत नाच ईज द ट्रेडिशनल फोक डांस एंड सोनार बिहव एंड पथोनी आर द ट्रेडिशनल फोक म्यूजि कलचर ईज कैंड ऑफ आर्ट और वे वे विच द पीपल लिव इन छत्तीसगढ़ इज कॉल्ड एज कलचर ऑफ दैट स्टेट ही आर पीपल मो मेनली दे स्पीक छत्तीसगढ़ी लैंग्वेज अलॉंग विद दैट दे ऑलसो स्पीक हिंदी संबलपुरी मराठी एंड ओडिया कोसा सिल्क इज अ काइंड ऑफ सिल्क विच इज वेरी फेमस एंड यू फाइंड इट इन दिस स्टेट ओनली राउत नाच इज अ ट्रेडिशनल फोक डांस यू नो चिल्ड्रन वेन पीपल फील हैप्पी और ड्यूरिंग द फेस्टिवल्स दे डू द डांस हियर राउत नाच इज अ फेमस डांस और ट्रेडिशनल फोक डांस वी कॉल Now let's learn about dress. Tribal men wear dhotis and headgears like turban. Women wear colorful knee length or full length sarees. Jewelry consists of necklace, bangles and gungrus. Men from urban areas wear pants and shirts, while women wear shalwar kameez or saree. You know nowadays people everywhere wear shalwar kameez or pant shirts and Sari. This is the common dress we find here. Tribal means what? Where a group of people they follow the same culture means they follow the same language, same custom. It's called as tribal. So these people they wear dhotis and headgears, which is uh, surrounded over the head. festivals the main festivals are holi govardhan puja dasera and diwali the tribal festivals include bastar dasera and madai festival celebrated by the tribals of bastar bhagoria is celebrated by the bihil tribes of the region the most important agricultural festival of chatisgarh are hariyali kora navkhani and cherta as i said tribal means is small group of people which they follow the same language same culture same customs so here also you find bastar dasera is celebrated by the tribals of bastar bastar is a group of people they are called as tribals of bastar bhagoria is celebrated by bihil tribes this is the another tribe bihil tribe is another group of people and the most important agricultural festival of chatisgarh are hariyali kora navakhani and cherta these are the main festivals celebrated in chatisgarh tourist places the state has many national parks and wildlife sanctuaries the major attractions are indravati national park kangeri ghati national park chitrakoot falls caves near kanke and boramedo boramdio temple near raipur these are the places which attract the people so these are tourist places in chatisgarh i think i am clear now now let's study about madhya pradesh madhya pradesh meaning is central province it is a state in central india Central means Madhya, so it's called as Madhya Pradesh. This state is popularly known as heart of India. Let's see its geography. Madhya Pradesh is situated in central India. The state is bordered by Gujarat in the west, Rajasthan in the northwest, Chhattisgarh in the east, Uttar Pradesh in the northeast, and Maharashtra in the south. Bhopal is the capital of Madhya Pradesh. its occupation agriculture is the main occupation major crops include wheat rice mustard and pulses cash crops include cotton sugarcane and oil seeds 
here cash crops means these crops are grown to earn money these are called as cash crops the state is famous for its textile mills in gwalior indore and ujjain here textile means clothes mills are the factories where clothes are manufactured famous traditional crafts include chanderi print block printed and batik printed fabrics and leather toys india's news print and paper manufacturing unit is located in this state where news print is done or paper manufacturing in unit means where paper are manufactured made chanderi and maheshwari sarees are famous throughout the india here chanderi print is very famous it is done on the fabric means clothes it's done on the cloth chanderi and maheshwari sarees are famous throughout the india now let's learn about the culture this state has a large tribal population earlier only i said tribal means small group of people following same language and culture there are many castes tribes and communities maximum population is of hindus all major religions like islam sikhism christianity buddhism and jainism are followed in madhya pradesh hindi is spoken by the most of the people and hindustani music is popular here dress men wear dhoti kurta and a headgear safa similar to a turban women wear sari or lehenga choli festivals of madhya pradesh are holi dasera diwali eid ul fitr and christmas some of the tribal festivals are madai and bagoria tourist places some of the important cities are bhopal gwalior ujjain and indore popular tourist places which attract people are the hill stations temples and sculptures at khujraho forts at mandu and chanderi and stupas at sanchi these are the famous places where people like to visit in madhya pradesh i think i am clear now so let's see karnataka maharashtra and tamil nadu in the next session till then take care thank you